Hello and welcome to Verdictum. I am Ananya Singh and you're watching today's Legal News, where we talk about the recent important legal developments across the country. Here are the headlines. Supreme Court to hear PIL seeking declaration of Ram Setu as National Heritage Monument. KFC cannot claim exclusive right over use of the word chicken, Delhi High Court observed. Allahabad High Court quashes criminal proceedings against Salman Khurshid after he expresses regret over remarks made by him against Yogi Adityanath. Child in conflict with law under Juvenile Justice Act cannot file for anticipatory bail under Criminal Procedure Code, holds Allahabad High Court. Karnataka High Court expresses displeasure and warns the state officials of contempt action for not providing necessaries to school children. Now let's take a detailed look on the headlines. The Supreme Court agreed to list a PIL filed by Subramanyam Swami seeking a direction to the centre to declare Ram Setu as National Heritage Monument. A bench comprising CJI D.Y. Chandrachur and Justice P.S. Narsimha took note of the submissions and listed the PIL for hearing. Kentucky Fried Chicken International Holdings LLC, popularly known as KFC, was refused to register Chicken Zenger as its trademark by the Senior Examiner of Trademarks, against which an appeal was filed in the Delhi High Court. The court observed that KFC cannot claim any exclusive rights in relation to the use of word chicken. The trademark registry can, however, consider the application for Chicken Zenger. The Allahabad High Court quashed criminal proceedings against Congress leader and former Union Minister Salman Khurshid for his remarks against Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath during the 2019 Lok Sabha polls, where Khurshid allegedly said, Rishte mein hum unke baap lagte hain, meaning I am his father in terms of relationship. Justice Dinesh Kumar Singh allowed the petition filed by Khurshid for quashing criminal proceedings after he expressed regret over his remarks and said that he did not intend to hurt anyone. Disagreeing with the Bombay High Court, a single judge bench of Justice Jyotsna Sharma held that the Juvenile Justice Act deals with all aspects relating to child in conflict with law and the provisions of Code of Criminal Procedure will not apply in such cases. The court held that Juvenile Justice Act is a comprehensive legislation containing all provisions with regard to children in conflict with law and that provisions of Section 438 CRPC have no application, being extraneous and incompatible with the scheme as well as aim and objective sought to be achieved by the Act. The Karnataka High Court expressed displeasure at the state government for not providing adequate information about distribution of necessities like uniforms, shoes and socks, etc. to students of all government schools. A division bench of Justices B. Virappa and M. G. Uma said that an affidavit stating that the children had been provided with necessary articles was not enough to escape contempt proceedings. The court was hearing a contempt petition filed on behalf of a student from Koppal district, alleging that the government was not following court orders for providing necessities to the students. Thank you and keep watching Verdictum and subscribe to our channel and download the Verdictum app on iOS and Android to keep yourself updated with authentic legal news.